The pictures here tell the story of aquaculture or fish farming and how it has advanced to be non-polluting with aquaponics, adding plants to the natural system. Did you know that Idaho farmed $50 million worth of trout last year? Exported around the country and the world? We can do the same thing here in Central Washington, but only better, and this is how. We stock some of the giant ponds around the county and build a hatchery and make trout fishing the summer pastime. See what I have done as a local small scale kids trout farmer here at 97 and 10 for you fish and studying with the University of Washington Salmon Recovery Program and studying at Texas A&M Sea Grant making a super modern online hatchery system that does not pollute the bay. Why? Because the shrimp farm we were building in Costa Rica closed because the Bay of Tarcoles was quarantined by upstream pollution from Han San Jose. So, I studied tilapia, uh, and I studied and did not like the way they raised tilapia in China. I studied in uh, Taipei, Kilong, and Kaishung for black tiger prawns at the Taiwanese Fishers Institute, and worked a farm in Australia with freshwater lobster. Yes, freshwater lobster. So, forget fake news from all the opinionators uh, that aquaponics uh, is, is no good. We can grow and harvest excellent fish and make it a local enterprise as simple as a modern greenhouse for organic veggies. So come visit concertpark.us in Ellensburg and see where we left off and see where we want to go on the six acres with wonderful trout ponds being a self-sufficient community supplying the grocers with everything that we need locally. That's the American way. That's the American dream. Okay, now... We don't know the future. We know that Fukushima was a major event impacting the Pacific Ocean, but no one talks about it anymore. Maybe it just went away. I doubt that. Who knows? Maybe Rocket Man in North Korea might send one of his little missiles there and accidentally landed in Fukushima. What would that do? Well, for one thing, it would erase Japan and most of the Pacific Ocean. Wouldn't that be nice? What a victory he would have. But we don't know, so let's try to plan for the future, uh, thinking that these things might be possible events we might have to deal with. So we may want to get our fish uh, from our high-tech aquaponic ponds locally uh, instead of importing tilapia from China or Southeast Asia. Okay, okay, look at the pictures and think about what would be the possibility of building a hatchery and stockings and ponds and begin to process our own freshwater lobster from Australia, freshwater shrimp from Louisiana, and all the fish that we want to grow that actually many grow native uh, species here. Salmon and trout, it can be done. The hatcheries up in Cleveland raise lots of salmon. So can we. We can be self-sufficient. Let's give it a try. Take the pictures and let's form a co-op. Just contact me at 970.